Apona, the Nag's Head, St. Agnes, the skittish piebald backs herself into the sudden fissure that the iron earth has vented for her stabling, knuckling under hoof and haunch, fetlock then croup, submit to loveless taming and the granite will of possession. But the covetous sky, outmaneuvering, yanks at her halter, flexing to keep the fleetness and shimmer forever corralled in that stony paddock. The heather bleeds, muscled boulders sweat, while the elements strain at their equipoise. Time's heartbeat falters, judders on the brink of resolution, and begot from the air the itch of lichen on her startled pelt commences a work of the ages.